Armstrong are officials here tonight at Cameron Indoor. And it wasn't that long ago, it was only about five or six minutes ago that wins this game, they are in the field for the NCAA tournament. Given everything else that has happened so far this afternoon and into this evening. Williamson able to knock that first one down. And points off of that turnover by Louisville. DJ Stewart, the freshman who's been playing so well, a little step back and a long one, and he's on target again. That Louisville a little bit fortunate, that turned out to be a two-pointer. Jones with a little fall away and sweetly done there. Comes in averaging 17 a game. A look at the Louisville starting five here tonight. Led by Jones, Johnson, Williamson, Withers, and Malik Williams. Wow. They've been getting him back. Decided to put David Johnson on him. Kirk then went 12 minutes without scoring. He only scored four points the rest of the game. I thought that decision by Mack changed the game. He showed in the open the baseline screen to get him a three. There you just slice him down there and get him a post up. He missed the first 15 games after foot surgery, a broken bone in his right foot. To get tremendous leadership out of him, and guess who's off to another great start in the first half? See Duke already with four assists. They've been passing the ball exceptionally well. Good passing team anyway. Withers has to force it up there, and he knocked that shot down, a three-pointer. The reputation has been able to knock down a face-up shot. We haven't seen it a lot because he's been on the interior with Mo no Malik Williams. Hurd had a foot on the line. It's two shots here that are, I think he wanted three. And both times, his foot on that line, both of them that's... Yeah. Breakfield, a freshman now in the game for Coach K. Johnson looking for room to operate. A little fall away. Got it to go. David Johnson. Thought he could have carried that further. He, he settled into a post up, and what a tough shot. Falling back a little bit. Off the window. Hurt again. Already a perfect five for five. Global down four. <laughs> we'll see if Carly Jones begins to warm up on the drive for two. Into a run for the Cardinals. Then a three on two, running nice. the fast break to perfection and Withers for the easy dunk. Being inclined to get into the NCAA tournament, but just as we went on air tonight, Joey Brackets into the slam and David Johnson going airborne. And the difference that he has made is a shot blocking presence, but he's coming off a tremendous game offensively too, but could not deny JJ Trainer getting inside for two. Up with Matthew Hurt. That matchup in the second half is another turnover by Duke. Jones slapping it away and slamming it in on the opposite end of the floor. Jones has been. That rim gets a lot bigger when you can get yourself some stuff. I thought that Johnson hurt matchup changed the game in the second half. The first time these two teams met. Williamson having trouble with that one. Able to save it back to Jones along three. And that one's going to drop in. A tough rebound in heavy traffic. That won't drop. Withers once again out fighting everybody. Down the lane with a scoop. Beautifully done by Johnson as he swoops into the paint for two. Just relentless, and when Williams is in the game, you've got 6'11", Withers at about 6'8". You and Fonz, Reese Davis, classing up the joint there. Heard a little fall away, sweetly done there, but he's been a little quiet the last several minutes. Williams, looking like a man who wants to shoot it. Trying to get it up and over Williams, and terrific defense. Duke has won four consecutive games. Joe Lenardi thinks if they win tonight, they win in a slam by Johnson, who goes airborne again. They cannot keep him out of the paint, and I mean, that was just a straight line drive, a good jab step drive. Johnson's becoming the brightest star for the Cardinals tonight. Williams lets fly and will sink that.
the team has not been able to catch up, and the Cardinals have benefited. Mm. With authority. Good defense once again, and they played great defense throughout the night, and a quick strike on the other end. Blue Devils trying to recover behind Hurt and leave him open like that. He can do it all night long. Williams the open shooter and that'll rattle in for him. And take it away as Duke will force the turnover. Stewart pretty quiet first half. In the paint for two. Beautiful move. Looking for the guards to really get active here. Shot clock down to six. Here's Stewart. And yes, a three-pointer on target. Great field with a spin. He got it up and in. And a foul on the play. Inside. Trainer shot tipped up and in. They kept on fighting. And a nice play by Hurt from behind. Duke with the opportunity to tie up the ball game, and that is exactly what the Blue Devils do at 44. Fine comeback from down 10 at halftime in their lowest first half point total of the season. A quick strike, however, as they get it right to Jones again. And now the Cardinals with an opportunity to add to their slender lead. Davis, strong move, and gets hit as well. Ten rebounds now for Williamson. 6-7 sophomore, and in once again goes Carly Jones. Heard with the touch, trying to get in. Tight banks it in and takes the hit. He'll be at the line looking for a three-point play. Louisville forcing the turnover. Over the top, and the slam for Williamson. A big reason that the Blue Devils have turned things around four game winning streaks have been limiting those turnovers. Roach, a tough rebound there by Hurt. So the Blue Devils looking to tie or take the lead. Hurt wants the shot, long one coming, he's got it! Just a bad turnover leading to offense. Hurt again, slicing in for two more. And his great night continues here at Cameron Indoor. Moore lost the handle. Another turnover. And now three on one. Williamson ascending for two. Hey, see it, see it. Davis deep in the corner. Jones. A oh, beautiful mm. dish for two. Trying to force the turnover. That didn't happen, and oh, great Ooh. defense on a recovery. Hands of Jones, who should see a lot of it here in these last couple of minutes. Darley Jones. Stopped, flips it up, and got it. Under a minute to go, Carly Jones. On the spin move, flips it up again, not this time, and it's tipped out. Did not score in the second half. And Duke has tied it up on number one by Wendell Moore. Tar Heels took game one, 91-87 here on February 6th, but Moore has just delivered the lead here for Duke. The Cardinals have. And smoothly knocks down number one. Trying to give Louisville the lead. Left it short. Rebound tips. Take the tied last shot. at 65. Yep, looking for the last shot. Jones with a fall away. Off target. We're tied at 65 at the end of regulation. We are going to overtime. 10 at halftime. They rallied. They did have the lead in the second half on a couple of occasions. Way downtown. Able to get rolling again. They're trying to beat Duke for the second time this season. Jones again off the window Ooh. and fall in. He's calling for the ball here. Williams feeds it to him and inside for two. 40 left in overtime. Shot clock down to three. They get in close and it rolls in and a foul as well. You'll see basketball at Cameron Indoor this season. On the drive and a whistle as well. 40 seconds to go up by three. Carly Jones 
Wants to shoot it again. And gets to gets the basket to roll in. Another giant shot by Jones tonight. Here's Hertz. Drops that one in with 25 seconds to go. Louisville in overtime. Four out of five shooting it. Six out of seven at the line. They made big shots. That's the final in overtime.